Welcome back to Agile Contracts with me, Alan Kelly. So we're going to look at our first option for how you might do an Agile contract. And this is very simple, hide Agile. Don't tell the customer you're doing it. Sign a perfectly normal contract, and behind the scenes, do Agile. Working iterations, whatever you want. After all, you're black box. Why should the customer care if it says a set number of features for a set price or a fixed amount of time on, on the sheet and that you've signed up to that and a contract signed up to that, a customer signed up to that? What difference does it make what's happening behind the scenes? You know, this is good. It sounds like it could work um, and it wouldn't upset customers. It's, you know, the status quo. True, the supplier is going to get the benefits perhaps more than the customer. And this is where the problems start. Have we set up a conflict of expectations here? Are the development team expecting to negotiate on features while the customer isn't? Are we really doing things to earn the customer's trust? Are we really being honest? And aren't trust and honesty part of the Agile ideal? ideal? Isn't that what we're aiming for in Agile? Have we set up a situation of potential conflict here? And let me just say, what will the customer say when they find out? Have you, have you misled them? Will they be upset when they find out you're working Agile behind the scenes? So, you know, it sounds like hiding Agile could work, but it doesn't seem ideal. Let's look at option number two, time and materials.